it up. Yeah, this is some good music. In our morning rounds, we look into the rise of myopia, also known as nearsightedness. That's when distant objects appear blurry. A recent study predicted half the world's population will be nearsighted by 2050. Symptoms of myopia can include headaches, eye strain, and squinting. Dr. Christopher Starr is an ophthalmologist at Weill Cornell Medical Center. Welcome back. Thank you. So Thank what's you. behind this steep rise in this myopia? Well, there are a lot of theories. Uh, it's a real thing, as you said. I'm in by 2050, maybe half of the wow. world will be myopic or nearsighted, which is dramatic. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's rapidly rising in kids. Uh, and the theories have been several. One, genetics. Genetics is a real thing. If both of your parents are nearsighted, there's a good chance you'll be nearsighted. There was a theory that, well, kids are spending too much time indoors reading, looking at iPads and iPhones and things like that. That might be part of it. But the interesting thing, and probably the data that support, is supported the most by studies, is that they're not spending enough time outdoors, right. just getting yeah. enough sunlight, what, running around outside. What is enough time outdoors? That's a great question. <laughs> it, it's not well known, and there's no formal recommendation, but most likely anywhere from one to three extra hours of outdoor activity a day is probably reasonable. Beyond what they're getting but now. Beyond what they're getting. What's, right. the, yeah. what's the physiology of that? That's a great question. Yeah. And it's really interesting. There's a neurotransmitter called dopamine, which is, which is stimulated by sure. the sun. Uh, and the dopamine controls the elongation of the eye. So if you have huh. dopamine, the eye doesn't grow as much. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have enough dopamine by sitting inside, the eye can go whoosh. And, and get longer and longer, and the longer the eye, the more nearsighted it is. So there is some truth sometimes when they say, you know, nerds need glasses that they stay in time at the, you know, stay inside at the library, that yep. you end up needing glasses? It's absolutely true, yeah. Huh. So if I'm sitting at home and I'm watching, you know, I'm thinking, I got really great eyesight. Yes. At what point should I start to worry? It's a great question as well. Um, we, Don't we you are, like coming here? You've I said. love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These <laughs> questions are so amazingly good. That's uh, what we're known for here. <laughs> <laughs> now, you um, give a great answer, doctor. Well, I will try my best. <laughs> um, the uh, one fallacy that a lot of people have is like, oh, I see well. Yeah. I don't need right. to go to an eye yeah. doctor. I don't have any symptoms. My eyes don't hurt. Uh, and that's uh, unfortunate because there can be things that are going on inside the eye that are completely asymptomatic, glaucoma being one of them. So if you're a young adult and it's been a while or you can't remember your last eye exam, it's probably time to go see an eye doctor. Uh, over the age of 65, we usually recommend every one to two years for routine eye checks, even without symptoms. And of course, kids should be screened regularly at school. And Starting at what age? Uh, for kids, uh, infants should have a, a screening test, and then in their, you know, in their early years, um, at school age, you know, they should be screened regularly at school and at the pediatric office and uh, eye doctors as well. So squinting in, is not good. Squinting yeah. is a good yeah. sign yeah. that okay. if you're was, squinting, it's you're myopic. I probably. was in middle school and we were all waiting in line to get the test, and I sat down to read, and all the other kids are watching, and they all, all my friends started laughing and giggling <laughs> because I got all of them wrong, and that was when I knew uh -oh. I needed glasses. Yeah, yeah. you were probably squinting. Thank yeah. you, Doctor. Thank you.